Hello and welcome to Wonder for Revit. In this video, we'll learn how to analyze the accuracy of a model which you created using Point Cloud. In under, we have a section which is called Surface Analysis, and we'll be using these tools to analyze the accuracy of the model. So, if we'll see, Analyze is actually grayed out, which we'll be using to analyze the model. But if we'll open the Slice Manager, it will activate because it's license protected. So let's open our project. Now let's click on analyze. Then we have some settings here, which are grid size, depth inside, depth outside. So we I would recommend not to change these settings because uh, we experiment and these settings works the best to get the result. Then there is calculation method which is uh, most of the times we are using default but there are other options also if you want to use different ways of calculations like minimum maximum random average standard deviation count delta scan difference and scan overlap then we have data source which is we have three options for this is decimated points preview points and all points uh, decimated points if we choose it is the fastest way of analyzing because it chooses few uh, amount of points from all the density of the points. Then there is preview points. It's a bit more uh, time taking than decimated points. I think two to three times more longer than all points. It, it will analyze using all the points in the point cloud and it will be the longest time uh, spent for analyzing the model. So for now, let's stick with decimated points. Then we have filter for the host. So filter, we can uh, filter by either host, which is door elements like doors, floors, wall, window, and other things, and then orientation, if it's horizontal, vertical, or other. And then there is select all, which selects all these elements in one go. So we can analyze either by single phase, multiple phase, or auto by filter. We'll do it one by one and see how they work. So let's say for now, I want to check a wall and it's only one wall so I want to check by single face so let's click on single face and choose the wall I want to work with so let's click on the wall and it will take some time and create a, an a image overlay over the element so that we know where are the inaccuracies and how much inaccuracy is there it also creates a, a legend which can be used to understand for example for dark green it's within 15 millimeters of deviation then light green is within 30 millimeters of deviation and yellow is within 60 millimeters of deviation and red is above 60 millimeters of uh, deviation so now we can also do the same analysis but instead of using ele uh, elements one by one we can choose them by multiple phase so for that again we want to choose which elements do we want to work with so let's say still we want to check walls so multiple phase so either we can click one by one which walls we need let's say we need these three walls or we can select like this drag and it'll select all the walls in that uh, selection so for now let's just select multiple walls this one this one and this one and click on finish and analysis is done so this way we can select multiple elements instead of choosing one by one and then there is auto by filter which will choose all the elements in your whole view in 3d model for example uh, let's say if i want to choose all the walls or analysis for all the walls in this 3d model i'll choose check walls and auto by filter for now it will take too long so let's just do it for all the doors so doors and auto by filter so it will filter all the doors within the view and analyze their accuracy now and we are done as you saw it selected all the doors and checked their accuracy in whole model now we can not only do this analysis in 3d view we can even go to floor plans and check analysis uh, check the accuracy there too for example let's go to a floor plan 
and let's say we want to check the accuracy and the deviation in all the floats so we can click on analyze and check floats and then check everything else then auto by filter and it will filter all the floats in this view and then analyze them for their accuracy so let's wait for it and there we go so we can use this tool in all the views in floor plans sections and 3d view we can also change the style of the way it shows us the accuracies and inaccuracies so we'll talk about it once it's done and it's done now we can change the style of the way it shows us this analysis so for that we can select the part of the analysis we want to change so let's select this then we in property we have visibility and result visibility so click on add it and then we can go click on analyze display style and we can choose from these uh, presets or we can create our own and choose the color for the deviation we want it for let's say we want to use this one and press ok apply ok so now the setting for the visibility is changed now and also the legend and we can see how accurate or inaccurate is based on this these colors then to remove them from the view we can select and press delete but it's not deleted from the model it uh, stays in the Revit file and you can load it without analyzing again so to load it you can click on load and load also works without slice manager so you can analyze the whole model and then when you send it to the, your client client they can install undead for Revit and they can just load uh, the analysis by either single phase again just a second yes. load and let's say we want to check walls single phase and click so we already it's it's not creating a new analysis but it's just loading the results which were already in the Revit file then to delete them completely from the model and all the information we can click on delete and we can delete the whole result even though it's not gone in view if you'll close and open the file it will be gone or you can just click and press delete so that's how we can analyze uh, the accuracy of the model when you create a model using point clouds file thank you